Six billion people on Earth when the infection hit. I'm a survivor living in New York City. What's up everyone, Vortex here and welcome to a new series called I Am Legend. This one is an overall mod based on the movie I Am Legend. So let's uh, read a little bit uh, what's going on here. 6 billion people on Earth when the infection hit. The creeping virus had a 90% uh, kill rate. That's 5.4 billion people dead. Uh, crashed and bled out, dead, less than 1% immunity. That left 12 million healthy people like you. Alright, uh, this first sentence is written a little bit weird, <laughs> in a weird way, but that's fine. The other 588 million turned into dark seekers, and then they got hungry, and they killed and fed on everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Every single person that you or I has ever known is dead. <laughs> dead. He likes to emphasize the dead part, yeah? There is no god. Okay, so about the I Am Legend mod. Zombies, uh, dark seekers, do not spawn in the wild during the day. You are free to move about the world, but be warned. Buildings are dangerous, they are filled with fast moving enemies, and you'll need to be careful when looking for supplies. There are no traders, or all traders compounds have been abandoned. When night falls, you'll want to be inside and well hidden. Dark seekers will be out in force and they're hungry. Uh, there are four types of dark seekers, normal, both male and female, hunter, alpha, both male and female, and spitter. All right. Normal. Dark Seekers are various humans infected by uh, the virus. They have different characteristics such as movement speed, movement type, health, uh, but are effectively the grunts of the Dark Seekers. Hunters move on all fours, can jump much higher distances, and can launch a leaping attack on unsuspecting individuals. Uh, alphas are bigger, tougher, and look more skeletal, but can be just as fast. Spitters have evolved to launch acidic projectiles at whatever they're hunting, and when damaged, uh, have a tendency to explode. Damaging anything around them, they are more skeletal than normals, but they look more animalistic, with mandibles instead of a mouth. There are also two sub-variants of these creatures, feral, characterized by glowing yellow eyes, and much tougher than uh, non-ferals, and radiated, characterized by their glowing green skin, as tough of, as uh, feral variants, uh, they can regenerate health and, uh, at an alarming rate. Okay, so this is the mod, guys. Uh, like I said, it's based on I Am Legend. Uh, let's open this one. Uh, we get some stuff here. Now, uh, as you can see, there's different icons for this one. I installed the, um, what is called? The weapon mod and the vehicle mod as well. Uh, just because, you know, I wanted to have something extra. I was debating whether I should install the larger backpack as well, but I went for the, for the option not to do it. Uh, let's lock all of this. Uh, there are no uh, traders like uh, the game says. And uh, I actually tested it just to see how it looks. And uh, yes, the POIs are quite infested. <laughs> the only thing is that during the night time, like I said, I haven't played it, but I was just walking around in God mode and see how it looks like at night time because I wanted to test if uh, the mod actually does what it says. At night time, it didn't seem to be as many zombies outside as I was thinking, you know. According to the mod, it says that uh, there's five times the um, the amount of zombies that you see in vanilla. It didn't feel like that to me, so I'm not sure. Uh, also. Uh, this mod has no head uh, light, so the only uh, source of light you have it's this one from the weapon. Now, again, I was debating whether I should actually uh, give myself a headlight or not, but I decided I'm not gonna do that because, you know, the mod is uh, meant to play, be played like this, so I'm gonna play like this, but if I feel like uh, it's hard for you guys to see what I'm doing in the game, then I will... Um, I'll give myself a headlight and that's it. So let's grab a bunch of resources here. And I don't need this shit at the moment. What's going on? Let's put this one here, actually. Let's, uh, we need plant fiber. I'm gonna make myself a bow with some arrows. Now, this uh, mod has like a infestation for the POIs, like I said. And you can actually choose the level of infestation in the, um, in the menu. I went for the basic one. I think it's uh, infested, super infested and ultra infested. Uh, the other two, I'm gonna leave them for now like this. I'm not gonna touch them i will increase those in time uh, this game is permadeath as you can see this game it's uh learned by uh, doing so which i love it i think this one is the best way to 
to play a game you know I, actually i need to check a little bit because this one looks quite different from what i'm used to strength boomsticks okay uh we need some points so let's put a before i forget let's uh put a cardio iron gut because i don't i'm not sure how uh it's the food and water in this uh mod and let's uh, go what what do i want to use i think i'm gonna go for school crusher actually uh i can't actually take this one i guess i need to put points here ah no i have no points oh wait is this ah this is two points each holy shit all right <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Let's start making some uh, arrows. Okay, so another thing. Also, there are no Horde Knights. Uh, I don't think I want to play with Horde Knights because I I don't think this one is going to be like a long series or something like that. First of all, like I said, it's permadeath, so <laughs> I might die here on my first day. So if you guys see this episode, it means I survived the first day. If you don't see it, it means I died. <laughs> Obviously, you're, I'm thinking like, what what should I do then? If, I, if it's not a permadeath, um, if there's no Horde Knights... What's the point? Like, what should I do? And I decided that what I want to do, it's because of the infestation in the in the buildings, right? I decided that the way to finish this game, basically, will be for me to uh, clear, uh, let's say, every tier 5 POI out there, okay? That would be the goal. If I survive that long, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Again, I'm hope i'm not gonna die when i opened the game i actually chose the permadeath uh in the menu maybe i should have left it like normal and uh decided if i wanted permadeath or not <laughs> i don't know i'm not sure if i if i really want to play with permadeath so there's no i have a building here but i think i want to look for a uh, for a city or something that poi is quite big if uh if it's that infested as it says i don't think i can actually clear that one <laughs> uh let's repair you and then let's make more arrows you're not dead. As you can see, there's nothing around. There's no zombie out here. So during the day, you can do whatever you want. Uh, it's during the night that it's uh, it becomes an issue. All right, there's a POI here. I wonder if it's a tier one or two. Let me check. Let's go close. The zombies have a fair access sense even during the day. So they will hear you. What's this? Come on. Okay, this one is a tier one. Has some barbed wire around, which I like. Actually, it's not everywhere. This one is quite empty here. I don't know if I really want to be to take this one. Question is, where should I go? Uh, this road goes somewhere. Let's go check a little bit. If uh, we don't see anything like uh, a city or something like that, maybe we come back here and try to clean this one and have a place to spend the night because I don't, I don't think I want to be out here during the night time. <laughs> for those of you who wonder, maybe you've been watching my channel for a while, the new episode for uh, the Time Travel Saga, it's uh, almost done. The intention of that series was for me to release one episode every week. Problem is, it's kind of difficult to do that because uh, each episode is like seven in-game days, you know, so a full week from the game. And uh, which means I have like seven to eight hours of uh, worth of footage that I need to go through and um, edit and stuff like that and it's, it becomes quite time cons consuming and between my work and other stuff i don't really have that much time to edit uh, one episode every week looks like there's something over there uh, which is why i decided to either release it on uh, every two weeks i can release one episode or i can release one episode whenever it's ready you know if the episode is ready in uh, let's say a week and a half i will release it if it's ready in a week i will release it if it's two weeks i will release it so yeah that's kind of the intention but i will uh, see anyway this one is almost ready I hope by Friday it will be released, if not uh, Saturday, maybe on Saturday. Now this one is a big POI side, so I really don't want to be here. That one I don't want to be there as well. Let's try to avoid as much as we can uh, big buildings, you know. Dark Seeker Crawler, okay, the, those can stay there. <laughs> Obviously the Dark Seekers, they will come for you during the day. Uh, do like this. Oh, there are zombies here, okay. <laughs> yeah, they will follow you outside uh, from the POIs. Even though they don't spawn out in the world, you know, in in the movie, the I Am Legend, they don't go outside because, you know, they will burn. But uh, in this mod, yeah, they will follow you outside because obviously <laughs> it wouldn't make any, too much sense otherwise. Ah, and the worst part of this mod, guys, there's no dog, which, you know, doggy was like the most important part of this mod <laughs> that the creator should have uh, put. But there are no dogs, unfortunately. I'm not sure why uh there's no dogs there are other uh, overall mods that they use uh, animals and pets maybe the the creator he doesn't know how to do it or right i'm not sure okay let's uh let's find a place let's find a place this place here looks looks doable uh there's no tier for this one i'm not sure why not i'm gonna try to clear it 
Uh, this is just for me to have a place to stay for the night. Let me craft a box. Uh, do I need any of this shit? No. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. What we're dealing with. Hello. Oh, nice. Where is everybody? Let's try to use the bow for a second. Okay, I see one guy over there. They are very fast. Obviously, I play on adventurer mode, so we will increase the difficulty and the speed and everything uh, at some point. But right now, let's make some uh, noise here. Where is the infestation in this place? Like, maybe because that... Oh, maybe I should have left that one closed for... Uh... All right, so there's nothing much here. Just a bunch of trash everywhere. Any drinks? Nice. Nice, even better. Oh. So there is someone here. So all the zombies, they look like him. Uh, or at least the regular zombies. Or the other ones, the the other variants, I don't, I'm not sure how they look. I don't know if there's any hordes. That's something I didn't check. Okay, so I didn't find anything interesting up there. I'm gonna beat into this one and take everything apart from here. And we're gonna spend the night up here on the rooftop. I will show you guys what I did there. All right, let's uh, put some stairs. What's blocking you? Ah, it's this piece here. Okay, all right. So... I put up a couple of boxes here. There was this uh, box here, but there was nothing inside. We're gonna try to spend the night here. I'm gonna put this bed, uh, even though, like I said, it's permadeath, but I just don't want any enemies to spawn back in. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I didn't mention this, but I have my uh, experience and loot. It's maxed out, so I find more stuff in uh, loot and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna spend the night somehow here. Maybe I can pull like a couple, bunch of boxes like this, you know? Try to stay as high as I can from the ground. And hopefully they will they will not see me. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see tonight how it's gonna go. Don't break your leg, please. Uh, it's half past four. Do I have time to, to clear some more stuff here? Maybe clear this place? Actually, no. Come on. Let's make some uh, noise around here. Try to lure them outside. Let's see what's in here. All right, there's someone here. Who is where? I can hear him, but I don't know where he is. Are you in there? Yeah. Oh, that sounds like a lot of them. <laughs> Come on. Female Dark Seeker. Uh, you don't look like a female, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, you hit me. You piece of shit. That's it? All right. Uh, wiring medical and uh, farming okay i'm gonna try to grab everything for now okay this one it's a door down there but i'm i don't think i want to go there for for the moment i think it's connected to the to this place here right can hear like a generator or something but i'm not sure where that is it's under here maybe yeah so the whole idea of this series like i mentioned already is to to see how far we can go with um we can, how far we can survive first of all <laughs> and uh we need to see if we can clear all the tier, tier one no tier five pois you know which when they're infested they become like really really infested let's uh, knock this down All right, I see you. You're dead. Who else I can see here? I don't see anyone at the moment. There's gotta be more of them. I should make some noise. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's a lot of noise. <laughs> All right, come on. Man, look at him going. All 
All right, come on, come on, come on, stamina. Okay. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> that was a bad start. I need, uh, I need stamina. I need to. Did I put? points in you now no we can put one point here let's see maybe the sledgehammer is not the best choice uh, let's turn on the light i'm pretty sure there's more upstairs right i just need to make sure i'm uh, inside the house before night time anyone else in here Oh, nice. Uh, okay. And also, I need to make sure I cook uh, some food and stuff before uh, nighttime comes because I'm not going to be able to cook at night. Crickets are chirping. Oh, there's people there for sure. I'm going to leave this one for tomorrow to finish it. Let's go uh, home. Uh, make sure we cook whatever we need. Take this ladder just in case. All right. Uh, let's make a fire. I have some drinks. That's okay. Uh, food. How is the food here? Okay. So it doesn't give me any dysentery. That's good. I have some potatoes, some corn. Let's see if we can cook anything. Uh, let's make a campfire. What can we make here? Nothing. I have some meat actually. Uh, not enough. Hmm. Okay. Maybe eggs. I have some eggs. I have some water. I think. Yes. Okay. Ah no, I don't. I have. I don't have a cooking pot. Shit. All right then. Let's uh, have a drink. Get a little bit more meat. At least we might be able to make some charred meat. You know. Is there any animals around? Any chickens? Any rabbits? No. Alright then. I guess I'm gonna make a little bit of uh, meat here. I'll take the drinks again. I'll take this food. I'm gonna eat it actually. We can... We can eat this. Actually. Yeah, we can eat raw everything. That's fine. We don't really need to cook them. This one will take a while. Yeah, I'm curious about the night time. I really want to see how it's, how it's gonna look. I'm gonna try to go as up as I can. <laughs> And uh, obviously I'm gonna keep recording throughout the night just to see how it looks and uh, for you guys as well to see how it looks. This is an interesting mod, you know, I like a little bit the idea of new and the fact that it's like uh, infestations and stuff like that. I kind of like this one. I was hoping maybe to get some extra things inside the game like uh, new weapons or new stuff, but I'm okay with that. Like I said, I installed my own, so... As long as the mod allows me to install other other mods, I'm okay with that. You know, I don't really need them to do more. Uh, let's uh, split this one in half and put these blocks like this. Yeah, I think I'm high enough in the sky <laughs> and maybe they will not see me or hear me. So I'm going to sit here until night comes. I really hope they don't sense me up here because if they do, <laughs> maybe I should go a little bit higher. Yeah like this because the feral sense it's on and it has like 50 percent extra area for them to uh, to sense me so it is quite possible for them to actually see me up here <laughs> I don't, the visibility doesn't go any lower than 35 i'm not sure please go lower please go to like 9 and 10 you know i don't think i'm gonna be able to survive if they come and uh, they find me i'm probably gonna end up uh <laughs> let sitting here and wait for them to destroy the building or maybe forget about me you know uh, let's see three two one all right it's night time so my visibility is at uh, eight yeah we should be fine technically let's look around see if uh, any zombies are spawning sorry dark seekers yeah, okay, so we can see them now. There are a bunch of them around, but... Okay, that, that guy doesn't seem to, to sense me, which is great. They are fighting some uh, wolves somewhere around. That guy is crawling. There is a guy over there crawling. I think that's a spider, right? Like, uh, not the spider, but the one they were talking that it goes on uh, four legs. I think that's the one. A dingo? Why there's a dingo here? This one is in the desert. What the heck is doing in the pine forest? Oh. Yo, look, look at this. Wait, that guy and the wolf, they were here. 
they spawn inside the compound or what? Man, that wolf is gonna have a really hard time. Look at them. Yeah, there are quite a lot of them, actually. <laughs> oh, this one's a big one. What are you? Ah, this is like the white. But maybe this uh, is one of the strong ones. Man, I really hope they don't sense me here because I'm fucked. Fair alpha male dark seeker. Ah, this one is the alpha. Okay. So we do have the bow version, like uh, these guys here, that the one that we fought, like this one. Look, oh man, th there are actually a lot of them. Then there's the guy who's crawling, which is like a spider, I think. Then we have the alpha, and there was the other one that, uh, it's the spitter, right? Maybe the sp oh, they killed one of the wolves. There's another wolf here, I don't know if they're gonna kill him as well. <laughs> Maybe the other one is gonna be like this one, like the white, but uh, spitting? I don't know. <laughs> this kind of feels like uh, I am legend, you know? Look at all these dingoes, they walk around and they don't get attacked by zo by the dark seekers. I'm not sure why not. Yeah, look at them. I thought animals attack uh, zombies, right? He's fighting a wolf there. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Remember like in uh, I am legend, um, Will Smith at some point during the night he was sleeping in the bathtub with everything closed, you know? Uh, he wasn't trying to make any uh, noise because the dark seekers will come. That's kind of like uh, the same feeling, you know? There's a lot of them outside, and you need to be really quiet. <laughs> One error from me, it would mean all of these people, they would come and try to kill me. I wouldn't be able to survive, which means this actually makes crafting during nighttime, you know, all that shit that you usually do during nighttime when you sit in your uh, house, you know, in your bunker, or whatever, it will make everything impossible, right? Because you'll never be able to craft anything or do anything during nighttime, let alone like go out there and try to loot or something like that. There's a lot of wolves actually around. I'm not, not quite sure why. And dingoes as well. Anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna keep recording. If anything happens, uh, I will show you you guys if not i'm gonna see you on day two in the morning where well, uh, we're gonna go and finish this poi here this looks like a big city right i think uh, on my first week here i'm gonna try to uh look only for like uh, tier one pois just until i grab a bunch of ammo and stuff and uh then we're gonna move to like tier two and three and uh, so on and so forth you know uh this is the 10k map i'm gonna make a list of all the pois the tier five pois uh that we have in the game so i can go and clear all of them that would be the goal of this series unless i die obviously <laughs> which is really possible from what i've seen today <laughs> it's, it's gonna be really easy for them to kill me Especially like nighttime. Look at this shit. How many zombies around? Uh, yeah. So the first week that's gonna be like uh, we're gonna have the uh, regular infested houses, and then I will slowly increase. I don't know. Maybe week three or four, I will increase to the maximum like speed and stuff. But the first two three weeks, I'm gonna take it slow and see how it goes. You know. <laughs> Uh, get some weapons and stuff, and then when I will feel secure and uh, I know I have a chance to fight them, then I will. Uh, increase everything anyway guys uh thanks for watching uh remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video uh you can become members of my channel if you press the join button and i'll see you in the next one bye